Now, this rotation drill that I'm gonna show you in this video will absolutely change your game. Now, why I'm saying that? Because it did for my game and it has done for a load of my students as well. It will give you that effortless rotation going through impact that you're searching for, for the nice straight and long golf shots. So I'm Jonathan Chan with J Chan Golf. Let's dive right into it. So this drill personally changed my game massively. I think there's no way I would have actually become a professional if I didn't obsess over this drill because the nice rotation that I have right now going through impact is ultimately down to doing this drill. Once my golf swing was in a place that I could support rotation, it was all about this. And I've got loads of my students on Skillist into the exact same place with this. So if you're someone who struggles with stalling out the rotation through impact, you might come down nicely and all of a sudden you might have a jump stall out there just like I did. This will keep you moving and get you feeling what you need to do. So, what is it? Preset rotation drill. So, it's been a while since I've had this on the channel. I used to have this all the time on my channel, but it's by far, I'd say it's up there with my favorite drill. Obviously, personally, it absolutely is my favorite drill and it works tremendously with students as well. So, how do we do this? We get into a rotational impact at our setup. And then what we do, we swing back from there and swing through. It will then spring you back naturally to an incredible Dustin Johnson-like impact. So it's into a really, really good position here. So let's run through step-by-step step how you do it. So then you can go to the range session and do this as well and get that nice movement going through the golf ball. So the first step to doing this is, of course, getting yourself into the good impact position, which is what everyone does wrong when they first start doing this. So we want to set up in that nice rotated impact. So from down the line, how this looks, rotate your hips as much as you can, rotate your chest as much as you can, which you're gonna see here is actually a little bit less than the rotation of my hips, which is normal. We want the weight to be pretty much 90% on your left hand side. So your lead side of the body for right-handed golfer. And we want this right side bend here. So we can see my right shoulder is getting closer to the right hip. I never see anyone overdo this, the right side bend when they're doing this drill. I'll see a lot of people too upright. I'll never see people right here with that right shoulder down to the right hip. So if you look at that from the front on, let's run for again. Hips open as much as we can chest open as much as we can, which would naturally be less than the hips. Remember the sequencing in the swing. We're having this right shoulder drop down towards the right hip as much as you feel like you can do. And we have the weight 90% on that left side for right-handed golf. And you can see, I haven't said one bit about shaftling, have I? So doesn't that confirm even more that shaftling is a byproduct of good rotation at impact? See, if I just set up like normal and now I get into this impact position, I haven't even tried to move my hands and what they've done, they've just gone forward. So you can imagine, if you're someone who's looking for compression, look no further than this drill. So let's then run through the next step of this. And this is again where people go wrong so often. So what I see people do wrong, first thing is, yep, they're in this brilliant position here and then they do this. Oh, it furates me when I see people do that because all they're doing they're saying, no, I'm not gonna use this impact kind of rotated position that I've just created. I'm just gonna swing it with my arms. That's not how we do it. <laughs> That's not how we do it. We use this, this is like loading up a spring at this impact here. And then what we do, we spring our body back and then spring it through again. So I want to be moving my body to do this. I don't just wanna move my arms. To be honest, I don't really think of anything with the arms as well. That's gonna be a video soon about what to do with the arms in the golf swing. So you can see in the impact position, now I'm just gonna spring the body back and through, and it creates such a good strike. So, next step. So this next step here is all about the swing length you do it with to start off with. You don't wanna be doing it full swing when you start off with this, because you'll barely be any different from where you normally are. So. As you can see with me, other than probably the last shot I hit, which was fairly full, I would only want golfers to do this as kind of like a half swing to start off with. So as you spring back and then springing through, just that half swing type of nature there. 
So that's why we're doing that is because it's easier for the body to do what you want to do. It will have a better effect at springing back when we start off half. So I would recommend to do pretty much, let's say you're practicing this for a good, let's say winter period. Let's say you're doing this, this is your drill for over the winter, which I'd recommend a lot of you to do. You'd do the first couple months, to be honest, of this practice until let's say up to the new year, for example, doing a half swing and then build it up once you've got comfortable and nailing it with a half swing, looking at yourself on camera as you're doing it, you need to check your swing as you're practicing. Otherwise, who knows what you might be doing? You've got to look at it. And then as you feel more comfortable, build it up to a fuller swing. Can't go full ball with it straight away. You've got to start small and build up everything in life. We start small, build our way up. We're not experts at doing something straight away. We've got to start small and get up there. So. Let's talk about the next one. So the next step here actually has nothing to do with the drill, but if you're drilling in rotation, just like I said at the beginning of the video with my own golf swing, I did this when my golf swing was in a place to be able to support rotation. If we're in an area where we can't rotate in the golf swing, we don't wanna be doing the drill because we don't wanna encourage our body to do something that's gonna encourage us to hit a bad golf shot. So if you're not rotating through the golf ball, there's most likely a reason why you're not. It could be anything from your steepening the shaft. It could be your path is getting very excessive on the outside. It could be a number of things. I've got a course that's made all about this called Ultimate Guide to Rotation of the Downswing. I'll put a link down in the description, download the Skillist app and it's on there. And also if you want me to identify what's happening personally for your golf swing. I also do online lessons on Skillist. So just download Skillist. You're gonna find some good stuff on there on my coaching profile. So that is the fourth step with this. Find out why you're not rotating and then getting into this drill is gonna absolutely change your game, just like we said in the title. So yep, we can call this step five, I guess. We just need to rep it out. Lots and lots of reps. Now our golf swing is in a place where we can rotate. Maybe you've fixed your steep shaft. Maybe you needed more depth to the top. Maybe you needed to shallow the golf club, which is a course I'm making very soon. All about shallowing the golf club. Okay, now we've got our root cause and fixed why we're not rotating. Now we can just do a good drill, just like I did back in the day, to be able to ingrain the movement in there. And then there is not a better one out there. You will not find another video on YouTube where there'll be a better rotation drill than this one. Strong words, but I stand by it. Someone please don't make a video of a better drill than this. <laughs> so, there we go. Hip rotation, there we go. Chest rotation, weight on the left side, right side bend, spring back, spring through. Boom. Looks good, doesn't it? And then of course, good number of them, and then hitting a ball afterwards, trying to replicate that same feel. You could be like a little Matthew Wolf there doing that before we go. Let's do one of them. So let's do a Matthew Wolf preset. Boom. And look, nothing like Matthew Wolf swing. Better do the job. So if you like this video, of course, click that like button. We've got more golf instruction just like this. Hit a subscribe button. Hit a bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video. So do this drill and you are going to start rotating way more.